guys, gals, friends, and pals. This is Paul Eastex Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Tyler. Hello. And I've also got Brandy Cats off to the side. Hello. We have the great pleasure of streaming Stay Cool Kobayashi-san, a River City Ransom side story, which is a very complicated title for a game that is like a spin-off of the venerable River City Ransom series. Tyler, have you ever heard of River City Ransom? So the second player controller dying should not do that to the screen. So you can hear me, right? I don't know why you couldn't hear me before. Because yeah. you weren't talking. I was too talking. <laughs> sure, whatever you say. I was hella talking. We're going to have to agree to disagree, Tyler. Can we say hello on stream? We can. Yes. I've, been, I've been quite... I've always been hella fond of that word. Yeah, hella's a good word. So, this is a complicated story. Yamada vanished. The Big Four of Reho High School, the Big Four, you do fight them in River City Ransom. Among the students was one who gathered the title of Mr. from even his classmates. Alright, and it's probably Kobayashi-san. His name was Kobayashi, one of Yamada's underlings. He fought Kunio, the main guy from River City Ransom, and lost. But Kunio knew he hadn't fought earnestly, so he hadn't given it his all for some reason. This story it's referring to is more prevalent in the Game Boy Advance version of River City Ransom, which had a fresh translation. Anyway, the story is going to begin with Kobayashi and Kunio meeting again. A dragon maid. Well, we do like dragons and we like maids. Now then, Tyler. Yes. Have you ever played River City Ransom? Yes, I have played it on Nintendo Entertainment System. Way back in the day, huh? Way back in the day. You go through the tunnel, and there's a secret store in the tunnel to get all the cool weapons. You're not just referring to that because we show that part on stream tonight, are you? Oh, did you show that part on stream tonight? We, yeah, we did. Oh, I didn't watch it. But you already knew about it, so... Yeah. That's later in the game. Did you get that far through the game? We, yeah, we progressed a, a fair ways into it. You know, you can beat the whole game in like an hour and a half or something. Yeah, it's not that long. I don't know, you have to like buy something to get into like the last area or something, and I don't remember what it is. And you have to have beaten certain bosses, and if you haven't beaten them, then they won't let you in, I think. Yeah, and it doesn't really tell you though. Like, I mean, it's just that old school style that just expects you to just check every nook and cranny. Yeah, which can be frustrating. It can be. But I think yeah, as a kid, as a kid, I never knew how to get past that like factory door. <laughs> That's a shame. I think the collection on PlayStation Four and the Switch, you know, the Double Dragon and and Kunio Kun beat 'em up collection or whatever it's called, Brawler collection. Doesn't that have like a? You could play the Japanese version, which is newly translated into English, so that would have probably better instructions than the regular English version. You ever think of that? No. I blew Not his mind. Sure. Blew his mind. Stay cool, Kobayashi-san. Yeah. What a complicated title. This game came out in, like, November of last year, Tyler, to very little fanfare. And I'm sure part of that is, like, the name is just so bizarrely Japanese. Alright, we're gonna turn on the second player controller. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jesus Ninja is Jordan's arch nemesis. I never realized that before, did you? All right, enter my name. So, my name, as everyone knows, is Tyler H. One seven zero one. That's me. Play it as Tyler. Oh, and you can be a boy or a girl. I'm gonna be a boy. Love. We're choosing. <laughs> Yes, well, when I play as a female character, I often do name her Tylerina. Mm -hmm. Select goods with memories of Kobayashi. Special enemies are more likely to drop select items when defeated. This game has 20 like, different endings. I always like when games give you menus of things that you don't understand until you play <laughs> the game. And it's like, That's... choose this before you ever play the game. Yeah, it's confusing. Definitely I want the Sailor Moon wand. And... Um... What is that? It looks like a cookie, a, a, a bear cookie. Uh, it could be this one at the top. Yeah, and then get the Playboy for sure. 
Yeah, it says H on it, and H is short for hentai, so that's quite amusing. That's a play it for sure. Oh yeah, I gotta have that. Then do we and want... The, what is that, like the sexual whip or whatever, the thing that you... <gasps> Where? What is that? Down. The thing right in the middle. There. Oh, is that what that is? Or maybe a it's like collar. a... Or a collar or something? Get that thing. Can't Why go not? that thing. <laughs> Agreed. All right, so that's my character. Yep, sounds good to me. Okay. Anyway, this game has 20 different endings. I think they want you to play it a bunch and just do different things every time. Well, if each of it, each run through is like an hour again, then <laughs> yeah, that's then a fair like that. amount of time. I'm only three minutes late, which isn't bad by your standards. The guy on the right is the main character of River City Ransom, Kunio Kun. Bad guy. No, he's good. I don't split hairs. The guy on the left, the one we play as, was a bad guy in the in that game. But Let me introduce you to. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of story to work through. Let's go ahead and do it. This guy's Mizuguchi, Gucci, and he's from the future. Wow. Did I say hi to that guy already? I hope I did. From here on out, you'll have to fight the evil time travelers. Hey, I love that sound. Thank you, Simias. Weren't you gonna do that too? Already did. Yay! Got three fresh subscriptions today. I really appreciate that, guys. Simias, you should have subscribed to Velvet. She. She gives bonuses oh. out to subscribers. Oh, what is she like? Send him a topless picture? What are they saying? Are they playing me? <laughs> Kobayashi, what are you up to? Whatever, I'll keep a close eye on you. So you're flying if you try to pull something. Yeah, Kunio's eager to hit him. What about the movements of those guys? It seems like they're all gathering in this area. It may be our best chance to take them all down at once. They're foolish, aren't they? We'll round you up and send you to hell. Wow. wow. Yes, Simeus, tonight <laughs> she's she's teaching your viewers how to make toast. <laughs> Yum. Wow. And le look at the dialogue here. Help Kobayashi, Tyler H1701 was carried off. Dang. It'll happen. A, it's an emergency. What? It's not an issue. You'll turn up as I clear those guys out. So th is that the goal of the game, is to rescue the person we created? I'll just come and save you while I'm at it. If it's Tyler, then they'll probably get by on their own power. I don't know about that. The usually cool Mr. Kobayashi is upset. This Tyler H1701, what's their connection with him? <laughs> Let me take care of it. I'll get Sayo Murigami to pitch in, whoever that is. I'll help you. Let's get going. I want to send those guys back to the future, Mizuguchi. Yeah, so for some reason we're helping a time traveler. It looks a lot different from River City Ransom, don't you think? But the people who worked on River City Ransom and Renegade, the game that came before it in the series, both were the two main guys from those games worked on this game. Taking down the subordinates will make the leaders notice us, drawing them out. That's true, Jordan. But we're giving away a Steam copy of this game tonight, and that's special. Arc System Works was very generous to donate those prizes. We would have had Xbox prizes except the codes they had had mysteriously expired, which is quite a shame. You can see the total number of opponents you racked up from the pause menu. There's, they're missing a space. Look at that typo! Yeah. I'll try not to criticize him. So we gotta defeat 30 of each of these to get their leaders to appear. What are those weird numbers underneath them? Oh, that's just uh -oh. like how many you have left. It's like an example of what the counter will look like. That, that guess. makes sense. Yeah. It should just but say yeah, 30 under all. Yeah. <laughs> Mizuguchi asked me to leave some cat shaped robots in each area. Why? Talk to them to save your game. You should know that they're kind of fickle, so it depends on them when they show up. I wish they weren't so cat-like in that sense. That's cute. If anything else happens, I'll make sure to report it. Good luck! Can we move yet? We can move! Alright. I'll explain the achievement! Yay! Equipped items. I always have three items with me, which are called equipped items. First, I want to check out the gauge in the middle. From the right, we have recovery, helper, and power up. It's those things in the very top center. Hey, Link, good to see you. Sorry, Tyler, there's a lot to learn in this one. Recovery heals the entire party with restorative orbs. Topper lets you call allies on the field of battle. 
power up allows Kobayashi to raise his overall strength. But be warned, there's a time limit on power up. Just keep an eye on the ring gauge in the middle of the screen. Whatever, wherever that is. To use equipped items, you have to fill up the meter. Oh, this is kind of like Gradius. You can choose when to activate it. To fill up the meter, you gotta take out the enemies and clean up the negative energy. The meter fills from left, and you can use it when it starts flashing. One more really crucial thing. You can't use the equipped items unless I appear on the screen, so only when Mizogushi's there. That's all. Sorry it was long-winded. Can we move now? Okay, A hits. Uh, B does a special move. Does that cost life? Yeah, it uses spirit. But the spirit charges back up. How do we jump? Uh-oh. I just did X and it used our healing power by mistake. Okay, Y jumps. I don't like that. But it looked like the controls were customizable. Well, let's go in here. We can't go in here. No, yes we can. We both have to be there. Bad guys. So what do you think of the looks, Tyler? The looks alright. I mean, it's... It's alright. It's... Yeah, I don't have anything wrong with it. It's pixelated. It looks cool for pixelated. Maybe it's not in the same vein as the older games. Yeah, which might be a little disappointing for somebody who really likes the older games, but... Yeah. It's a bit minimalist, I would say. The, I mean, the background is... The, the, the ground in general. Yeah. And it might just be this level, and maybe you'll have other levels that look a little better. But there's a lot of nothing going on. Alright, turn on turn on. I'm glad it supports two-player local co-op, just like yeah, Real River cool. City Ransom. Try hitting the guy. <laughs> Poor Brandy. I just, oh, get that heart. I, um... No. There you go. Alright. But I do understand the B button attack is much more effective than other attacks, according to what I've read about, particularly against bosses. Okay. Ah, UFO! What do we do about that? Punch it. I don't know what it wants. Oh, and if you attack at the exact same time an enemy attack hits you, then you'll dodge it somehow. Like a parry or something. I know I read that. What about, like, a map? Can you look at the map? You see your number of enemies defeated. You defeated five orange ones. That talking is really annoying. Can we go to the right? Okay. Yamada, it's been a while, remember me? No, I don't. You go, Yamada? How alliterative. Why are you here in this time period? I've been looking everywhere for you. I didn't mean to make you worry. There were things going on that I couldn't talk about. He wears a mask. He's prepared for the COVID, Tyler. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> are you telling me you had special orders? I didn't hear anything about it. It would have been problematic if you'd heard about it. That organization is the type of place that has a lot to hide, huh? Very anime-style storyline here. I got your back. Just relax and follow my lead. I'll catch you later. Alrighty then. By the way, Tyler, speaking of beat-em-ups, this week we finally started playing Streets of Rage 4 here in my household. Nice. Yes. Have you heard much about it? Uh, not really. Seems like people were enjoying it. Yeah, it's very good. It's pretty hard for casual play, like, say, playing with my daughter and stepdaughter. Pretty hard. But you can adjust the difficulty by giving yourself more lives, and then you just earn less points. And I think unlockables are tied to earning more points, so it kind of, you know, you'll unlock things more slowly if you play that way. reasonable system, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's interesting. So there's, yeah. like, permanent upgrade type things? Like, the, lives are upgradable? Uh, well, no, it's just for that level. Like, when you go to a level before you start it, you can, or if you die, you can choose, well, am I gonna go in with the default number of lives, or am I gonna go in with extra? And if you go in with extra, then it cuts your score for that level. Uh -huh. And then that contributes to your overall accumulated score, which is how un unlocks are tied to. It's no time to be wandering around. We should really refrain from any conduct that would cause the school to lose face. Hmm. 
We don't really have to read all the dialogue out. It's the readers can, the viewers can read it if they want. But Streets of Rage 4 is quite beautiful, Tyler. You know, it's got a pretty good art style, and then they use really good lighting effects to make it look even prettier. Oh, nice. Yeah, I haven't really seen it played. I mean, I'm not a big Streets of Rage person, but I know that it's been popular. You know, I've always appreciated the series because I'm a Sega guy, but I was never, like, a huge fan of it myself either. But, yeah, the new one, it's certainly worth playing. And it's nice to see series like that get revived. You know, if Sega themselves don't want to revive it, then let another developer revive it. And that's what they did. Yep, for sure. And there's all these limited edition versions. Aren't there, like, maybe even two different limited edition companies are putting out versions of it? Physical versions? I only know that I think Limited Run is, but I don't know. Is there another one? I really think there's another one, too. And some... I saw, like... Uh, what do you say? Like, uh, salty comments on Facebook about it. Uh, a bomb? Ah! A bomb! Get away from it! I'm over here! No, this way! Okay, it's gonna hit me! <laughs> <laughs> it's just right into the wall. Classic River City Ransom. And bomb! Way to go, Heaven Smile! Looks like the heavens are smiling down and having to smile once again, Tyler. Oh, neat. Achievement. Don't go easy on them because they're evil. I did a pursuit attack, whatever that is. He went after them. Once they went away from them. Gotcha. I don't think I can ah. hit you in this one. Okay, really? We can't hit each other, that's good. We were playing River City Ransom earlier, and Friendly Fire is on by default, Tyler. I don't know if it can be turned off or not in the NES version. Yeah, I remember beating the crap out of the people I was playing with in that version. <laughs> so probably... You can, like, pick them up and throw them around and all that stuff. Yes, and that is funny. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Get off my lawn. Nice. Link says Amazon carries the other physical version of River City Ransom, whatever it is. I mean, no, of Streets of Rage 4, sorry. But, like, some people had already pre-ordered the one version, and then they announced this other version from a different publisher, and it's like, what if I wanted the other stuff more? Say what? I need some of those hearts, by the way. I don't think they actually refill our life. I think they, they only fill up the meter at the top. Really? Oh, they do? I really think that's what oh, they're okay. for. Oh, yeah. But your life is pretty good. You're only a little bit down from 300. I'm glad this game isn't super hard. I was afraid it would be. Oh, okay. Weird. We're traveling through a rift in time or something. Ah! More bad guys. Mikaga Deska, how is that? Is what he said. So it's pretty affordable to translate a game if you don't translate the audio, Tyler. What was that? It's pretty affordable to release a game in English if you just don't translate the audio. <laughs> yeah, so you don't yeah, have to go through the whole, you know, translation process. Watch the localization note. or whatever. I guess you're high, but... Oh, there we go. I increased our strength. I think it's only temporary, though. But it, the hearts do version help. Okay, cool. We can get it. See? But yours is the one on the right. Uh, well, maybe I only have 250 then. Yeah, that maybe could be the hundred. max for you. I don't know. Oh, kitty. There's we can save. Save your progress up until meow. It's brilliant. <laughs> meow, yeah, we want to save. No quitting. Yeah, we're not quitters around here, People Tyler. gotta be saved. Don't ah! follow it. <laughs> She almost went in in River City Ransom. I was like, don't fall in that hole. Yeah, right, right into the hole. She said, that's one wish I can't respect, Paul. So it's weird how only I seem to be powered up and she doesn't. Tyler, tech guy's picking up on something. Are you gonna take that from him? Tech guy's the one who's watching her cook eggs. <laughs> the only one, you say? 
the only one, that's right. She doesn't need our support, people. She has like a million followers. Don't be jealous of her followers. <laughs> They're watching her cook eggs. Ah, we're... Yeah, that's extremely mundane compared to watching cool, weird video games, which is what we are all about here. Shown itself, that's her true form. These beings are called Moyakun. Okay. They're monsters <laughs> from negative energy that come from humans. <laughs> what are you coming out of there, a little purple vortex? Mm -hmm. It's definitely that and not a JJ. Your special moves won't work, so we have to try and corner it for Mizuguchi. I wish I would have read that better. So it sounds like your B-button attack is what actually hurts the boss. Ah! Get in the corner and hit it, Brandy. Okay, get him! Yeah! You did it! Achievement! Thank you, Brandy. Darkness is true form. Took out a Moyakun. Yep. Reminds me of something from Spirited Away. I didn't like that show. I can't believe you didn't like Spirited Away. Oh, there's the UFO. That thing's cool. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of Space Invaders. Should we just... I don't know where we're going. Like, it's Neither old early 90s. Oh. Remember, we have to do a certain number of things. Yeah, what were you thinking of, Tyler? Spaced. I think it's called Spaced Invaders, that old 90s movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it, that since it? it came out. Yeah, it's cool. It's actually good? Yeah. yeah. A lot of those old movies were fun. Yeah, I mean, it's nostalgic. It's probably nostalgia more than good, but... <laughs> and then Fly to the Navigator was the other alien movie that I watched well, I a lot as a oh, kid. That is a really good movie. I need to buy it yeah. digitally. I haven't it's on... seen it in a long time. Aww. It's on Disney's streaming service. Cool. You want to oh, Navigator? No, yes. Alright, let's do some healing. Wait. That was... Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, Pee Wee Herman was the voice of the robot. Mm. Really? Yep. Indeed. Or of the spaceship or whatever. It yeah, was awesome. the spaceship. I love that movie. So here's the problem we're having is that we can't tell where we're going or what we're doing. Let's go in there, I guess. Yeah. Because of we the lack of a map. Why organs. would you make the game without a map in this day and age? Because we have to kill so many enemies, so we're just going into the bosses. Now. You think? Yeah. You're probably right. If you have a turbo controller for whatever platform you get the game on, this game is well suited to turbo, just holding down the A button and downing them. I kind of want to see what that helper character thing does, but we should save it for a boss or something, right? Yeah. Stay down. Hey, hey Royal Bob. Bob. Yes, it is open world. He'll ask a question and then that's it. <laughs> that's true. You never know if he even heard what you said to him. I miss Golden Age Royal Bob, who could hold a conversation. We hold a problem, Kobayashi. He's a guy. guys. Yeah, he is. And he cares about important political topics, which he always posts about on Facebook, which is nice. These marker guys are showing up all over the place. It seems like regular enemies get a power up whenever markers show up. Take them out first. Then they can strengthen the other enemies. And they do a lot of damage. Okay, thanks for letting us know. Yeah, I mean, I might have to, or look at a... <laughs> <laughs> Online, there may be a map for it or something. That is hilarious. Sorry. Ah! Is there really, thing. like, multiple pathways to go through and stuff? I think so, yes. Just it's not linear. Anything. Is she a succubus? It's open world, dude. She looks like an Oni, or... Well, maybe a succubus. Are you that hero guy, Yamana? You're not. Well, whatever. I'm number 21. Here I come, cutie. Oh, we gotta fight her. Oh. Ah! Why'd she turn into that? She's a demon. Whoa. Looks like it. Ah! Alien. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. She got married and let herself go. <laughs> Is that what it was? Okay, let's go ahead and use our special power. Helper character! 
Come on, whoever you are. He's not even doing anything. Oh, he can switch over to him. Look at that, I'm playing with someone else. Do your attacks do anything to him? Ooh, look at that. That was cool. Yeah, where'd that other character come from? Why is there three characters on there now? Because one of the power-ups you can use is oh, a helper character. Oh, it's character. the helper that you're talking about. Okay, yeah. I thought it would be like a little scary or something. Ow. You're about to die, huh? I am? Yeah. Oh, crap. But I've still got a hundred, that's pretty good. I hope. Get him with that ice crystal attack. I don't know how to dodge! I don't know what I'm doing! Okay, in a little while I'm gonna change the other character. She's repeating her voice sample a lot, I can tell you that. The bad guy, it's annoying. Oh, it's time to change. Oh! Ah, oh, God! This boss is really hard. Oh, what, what do I do? Gosh, she does a ton of damage. We're not going to be able to beat her. Well, you should have started with more lives and got less points. <laughs> it was an option. The game was dirt easy until now. There's no, like, there's very little point in using your A button attack. It's like the special move does way more damage. Die, woman! Oh, you got hit. Ah, crap! Oh, Kobayashi's exhausted. No, God, no. Way to go, Royal Bob. Can't be over yet. Let me rewind time a bit. Oh, they're using the time rewinding mechanic. Hey, we're back to life. That's generous of the game. What does the bomb do? I really want to know. Should we wait and watch it explode and see what happens? I, I want to see what happens. That was a bit anticlimactic, don't you think? I don't... You saying it's good that we weren't by it? Yeah. So is the idea that you just lure enemies over to it? Yeah. Do we I get guess. to? Do we go in there to fight her? Is that what it was? We can try. Oh, I'm scared. Yep. Real, oh god. All right, we're trying to power up. Form. Ah! She stung me right away. Yeah, you know, she doesn't have a health bar or anything. No, unfortunately. Does she turn, like, red when she's near death? I think she smokes more, but I could be wrong. Yeah, if we just keep hitting her with our special move and don't get up close, I think that will help us beat her. The dash special move just has to, like, time it, right? It's kind of a nice. Yeah. Ah! Out for that. Ow. It goes ah, and that. That's not fair. She does seem to be. Her behavior changes as you beat her up more, too. Right. Ah. Watch out for those. Oh, God. Oh, I actually dodged it somehow. I wish we could get more healing. The boss fights oh, were him. much easier in River City Ransom, by the way. No, beat him up is cool as a scout beat him up game. Yeah, I missed that game. They should re-release it on modern consoles, but they won't because it's Ubisoft. Yeah, I'm sure the license is The Scott Pilgrim book is really good too, Tyler. It's better than the movie in my opinion. You mean the Some... series? The the book, the comic book. Yeah, but there's like six Six yeah, you're right. There are six. Yeah, yeah I've read it. It's good. Oh, you read the whole thing? Wow. It's funny. He's a jerk. <laughs> yes, he sure is. You don't usually read comics, do you? No, I never do, but I like stuff. Ha! We got her! So you liked the movie and you went out and read the books? Right. I 
think nice. I actually played the game first before the movie came out, and then I liked the movie, and then I went and got the books and read them. Tyler, you're a good Scott Pilgrim fan. Yeah, I like Scott Pilgrim a lot. Nice. Turtles 4, Bob Jones says, that's a good game. I can finally return back to my time. She called you Tiger. It was an achievement. Yay, at least it was an achievement, because that was hard. Take out one mid-boss. Now is it going to show us... Number of enemies defeated. Yeah, we defeated. That was the green boss. So we gotta go find some of the other colors. What a weird game. Oh, we just saved. An interesting style way to style your game. Yeah, I mean, you can tell they. Oh, yeah, you got him with your B button move. You can tell they made it on the cheap, but. Still, it's pretty fun. Ooh, filled up our meter. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would play it. It seems nice. fun. It definitely would seem more fun with, like, more, like, I don't think I'd want to play it by myself. Um, but it seems like a fun co-op game. But, I mean, that's kind of true of beat ups in general that are more fun with multiple people. Yeah, they've always really benefited from co-op play ever since and, the original Double Dragon. And it doesn't have online, right? I don't think it does. Yeah. By the way, interestingly, the Xbox version of this game costs thirteen dollars, but every other version, Switch, PS4, and Steam, costs fourteen dollars. Yeah, why is there a save point already? They, they said they came randomly. Randomly, yes. Strange. No, we've already beaten thirty of these guys. Let's kill them with a bomb. Maybe there'll be an achievement for that. Uh oh. Come over here, darling. How do we turn on the bomb? There we go. All right. That is a good idea. But look, this will get him. Stay over there. Stay over there. Yay, I got one. We don't need to fight these guys. Let's just go. Yeah, can you run past enemies or does it like scream? Let's find out. Ah, God. Okay, trying to run into the purple, Try. the purple lady part. Ah. You can run past him. That's good. They must have spent a lot of money on that Scott Pilgrim game. Why would we want to save if we still haven't accomplished anything? There we go, blue guys. We need those. What did you think of the soundtrack of the Scott Pilgrim game, Tyler? Awesome. Are these from, is it like Amana Gucci or Amana somebody Amana like that? Or something, yeah. yeah. I think that band is okay, but in my opinion, there are much catchier chiptune artists out there. Oh, yeah, grab it. Many chiptune artists. You don't know of any? Maybe that's why I like the soundtrack. <laughs> There's one, I think he's called Dr. Octorok, that I really enjoy. But yeah, no, I'm not saying it's a bad soundtrack, I just thought it was a little bit underwhelming myself. I liked it. Which, the Scott Pilgrim game? This one? We're talking about the game, not the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, the movie has a very good soundtrack. I actually yeah. bought both. They sell a score and a regular soundtrack, and I bought them both. Back in the day. Nice, yeah. It has a couple of cool rock songs and stuff. Too. Definitely. Some people don't like the movie because they don't like Michael Sarah. Do you think that's unfair? Uh, I guess. What do you think of him in general? Not my absolute favorite, but I don't have anything against him. Yeah. I don't really I either. Like like... More than I did, but... <laughs> He's not like, to me, you know who gets on my nerves a lot is Seth Rogen. Oh, really? I like Seth yeah, I don't like his voice, and I don't really like potheadism, you know? I like his voice. <laughs> you do, huh? But... I did, you see, did you see the tweet that I posted of his in our politics channel on Discord, Tyler? Uh, the one where he's just telling the people to F off. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Seth Rogen's like, look, if you have a problem with the statement Black Lives Matter, then unfollow me and go away. And all these people are trying to give him, like, smart-ass responses. <laughs> he tells each one of them to F off. It's so great. And some of them really harshly. It's pretty harsh, but it's funny. Yes, definitely. Oh, look at that, I kicked that UFO's butt. But I really don't like the fact that the Y button, which is triangle on PlayStation, is the jump button. That's awkward. 
The enemies are getting closer with their aircraft. Can't have that. Tech guy asks if you like doing Green Hornet. I actually have not seen Green Hornet. What do you think of that one? Oh, you haven't? He was no taller. <laughs> That's true. Not many people like did. Zombieland. Just is Seth Rogen in Zombieland? No. Michael no, Cera, isn't it? No. no, it's Jesse yeah. Eisenberg. Oh, Jesse <laughs> yeah, Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg is Never basically mind. insufferable, but he was okay in Zombieland, right? He's Seth good. Rogen didn't good like Seth Rogen. Yeah. It's because he's playing his butthole oh. self. Ah, look at this. We're in UFOs for some reason. I, I actually did this see that wild. movie. Ah. I actually did see that movie. Which uh, one? The Green Hornet movie. Oh. And he, I don't know, the, the whole rich boy entitled, I'm gonna film the, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. This weird comedic take it on the Green really Hornet weird. story. Like, that's not. Isn't that the one that Kevin Smith did? I think Kevin Smith had something to do with it. Maybe. I like his movies. His, I've his movies like anything from him that's not like from the 90s is pretty bad. It's just, <laughs> For the most weird. part, yes. Although I Maybe haven't seen the, the new Jan Jan I don't know. The Jan Son and Bob, the newest movie, have you seen that? I haven't. I heard it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I hadn't heard much about it. But it seemed like. It's very rehashy of like, jokes that were fun 20 years ago in his other movies. I can believe that. Jason Mewes is freaky looking. Yeah, he looks better on drugs. Aww. <laughs> um, well, the thing is, the drugs aged him forward 100 years, so now he looks like he's like 180. That happens. Yep. I saw him in a really weird, like, indie horror movie, and he gets his face ripped off. It was quite unpleasant. Alright. Jason Mewes, that is. I saw him in a different movie. Huh. That's interesting, Icky. Icky is saying that the Green Hornet movie does well with the guy who plays Kato. But, you know, I've never really watched any Green Hornet things, so... I don't yeah, I'm not like a Green Hornet. I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable on Green Hornet or anything. And I doubt many people are. Should we go in there? That's not what yeah. we're out of. I get him confused with Green Lantern, who I also don't know anything about. Heaven Smile, in the movie, he did die, yes. It was a weird indie horror movie. It was quite... The whole movie was pretty unpleasant and rough like that. The best thing about the Green Lantern? Yeah. Ryan Reynolds? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like him, but that movie was... It was horrible. Yes. But he was good to look at. It so started with right. the costume. Like, making the costume CG for no reason at all was really dumb. And the domino mask, you know, the we've talked about this before on stream a long time ago, but the domino mask that he wears, they get the shape of it. They made a really unpleasant shape of it, so it looks, even his mask looks dumb in that movie. Like, how do you get a domino mask wrong? I love that I can, I love that I can hear, I can hit the wall. Yes, yeah, hitting the wall. It doesn't hurt you either. You just fall down, so it's hilarious. I'm gonna I go ahead and kill him. I'll watch basically any superhero movie they make, you know, unless yeah. it offends me in some way. So yeah. I watched it knowing it wouldn't be very good. And it wasn't will, very good. I will say I love both Fantastic Fours. Really? Both? No. <laughs> I liked them alright. The first one I think was okay. Yes. Which one had Silver Surfer in it? The second one? Part two, yeah. I mean, Silver Surfer was cool looking. Yeah, he wasn't done that badly. He was Didn't just they, Galactus. like, fight a cloud or something? Yes, they made Galactus a cloud. <laughs> that was so dumb. Oh, I'm not doing the right thing. Yeah, I remember when he was a cloud. He was so All scared right. of that cloud. <laughs> yeah, there was just this thing, and the main bad guy in Green Lantern is a space cloud, too. Like, how could they make that dumb mistake Great. in two different movies? I feel like in the 1960s, Star Trek had some enemies that were clouds. Well, sure, but that's okay for a spaceship to fight a cloud, but for, like, for superhero types on the ground to fight a cloud is not interesting. Especially when there's an actual good version of Galactus that isn't a stupid cloud. Yeah, I remember the cloud. Disappointing. Yeah, there's things to like about those movies. I mean, you got Chris Evans in them, and he's... Yeah, I was gonna like, say, isn't Captain America also... 
Flame Man or whatever his name is. Yeah, the Human Torch. Human Torch. He's, he's on point. Uh-oh, another boss? Jessica Alp is in it. She's the best actress of all time. Because it's like 35, <laughs> I don't know about 21. that, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, no, the only really good one was Chris Evans, but Michael, or who played the ball guy? Uh, something, Michael Chiklis or something Jesus, like that? Yeah, Chiklis or something. He was fine. Yeah, he was fine. But the Reed Richards and the Jessica Alba. Yeah, uh, Reed Richards was like some old guy. Wasn't his, isn't his name like Ione? <laughs> it could I, be. It has too many. It has too many vowels in a row. He, he needs a consonant <laughs> in his name. Yeah, he might have gotten that from. It's like I Ireland really yeah. that. Oh boy! All right, let's try to beat this guy. Ah! Oh god! Oh, is this the boss for the blue guys? Yeah. Did he turn into a? Oh, he didn't oh, even turn into a huge robot bubble. Yeah, at least he didn't turn into that. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, I'll distract him and you hit him. Contest is open for PS4. Oh, Good luck, PlayStation 4, folks. Win this fun, cool game on PlayStation 4. It's a little repetitive, but it's still neat. A bizarre, humorous storyline. Ah, stop him. He's after me. I'm trying. Ah, look at that. He just won't give up until he kills me. I'm gonna save our meter for healing, I think. I have a problem with the line. Yeah, lining up right. Mm -hmm. It's. I, it may just I mean, be I haven't said a lot of it. Kind of the challenge of that, where you beat them up. Beat them up, yeah, they're finicky like that. I mean, that's part of getting really good at them, is figuring out the planes. Agreed. Ah! Oh gosh, you did both of them. Did you ever play that Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds? Yeah. Really that one had game. like specific rows, right? Yeah, you can only switch between them. Yeah, um, yeah, it was pretty. It was better time looking it. than it was. Oh. Good. You gotta time it. Yeah, it was lovely. Ah, yeah, good you job. Time yeah, it when he's down. That's yeah. Kind of way, right. All right. Healing, yes. Ah. Nope, nope, nope. He said something about hurrying. There you go. Ah! Stop hitting us! Ah! Okay. Good luck, Bond Diggity. I have a move like that. Not. Ow! My guy got tired all of a sudden. Just because I was doing my special too much. Yeah, you know, I read some Steam reviews that complained about the reliance on the special moves for fights, for boss fights, you know? And they are overly reliant on them for no particular reason. Ow. Ow. So Tyler, I watched a lot of movies this week, but before I talk about them, did you watch anything? Watched some Shit's Creek. Oh, I started watching Avatar, nice. the cartoon. Oh, cool. Well, how do you like it so far? Yeah, it's good. I'm only about ten episodes in. Um, yeah. Good. Zuko, I hear Zuko gets better. He kind of reminds me of, like, Team Rocket right now, or... Good job, Brandy! Like, Scooby-Doo, where, like, he just gets foiled every week when he tries to capture the Avatar. <laughs> but... Um, Besides that kind of corniness, and what's his name? Suko. What's the brother's name? Soka? Sokka? Sucky? Something like that. He's a little annoying. Um, Why didn't we get an achievement? Been... There's a cat. So have you talked to Sage about it? Doesn't she like that thing? Uh, no. Well, I don't know, but no. I haven't talked oh. to anybody about it. Did we come out of that door originally? I, I feel like we did. Let's I go think we right. did. But I don't remember. Let's go through here. I think that's all I watched. Yeah. Did I tell you I watched Step Up 3? Wasn't that last week, though? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, want I to make sure everyone knows I watched Step Up 3. <laughs> He's got to get some credit. Is cred. it better than the first two, Tyler? It's not yeah. better than the first two. You actually have seen all of them? I have, actually. I don't know that I've seen Step Up 2, The Streets, but I think I have. I've seen <laughs> the first one. It's the I'm kind of getting the vibe the that the whole reason to watch that is the same reason I watched Ryan Reynolds in Greenland. Yeah. Uh, well, I think I, for Tyler yeah. it was to get some action. But... Well, that's true. <laughs> no, I just like Moose. He's so good in the third one. I oh, well then. <laughs> You know, Tyler, you bringing that up reminds me, I once went on a date with a girl, a black girl, and uh, she picked the movie Barbershop 2, which is, you know, a black movie. And it's not that I have nothing against black movies, and I'm happy to watch movies made by people of other cultures and stuff. 
But Barbershop 2 is a terrible, horrible movie. <laughs> it was excruciating. <laughs> It'd be like getting taken to see a Medea movie, you know? Like, I nowadays I would know not... I'd be like, no, no girl's worth that. But, <laughs> but Barbershop... Although in Barbershop's defense, it's a real movie, and Medea movies are, like, on a level way below that. But just... It was definitely not good. Ooh, the Hattori brothers, also known as the Double Dragon Twins. Sometimes you'll get dragged along to a movie like that for a girl or for a guy or whatever. I'm sure it's happened to all of us once or twice. I'm lucky Brandy mostly likes the movies that I pick. She's really cool about that. And that's one of my favorite things about her is just how cool she is. Thank you. It helps that I'm not... Achievement! There's our achievement about time. Nice. Double Dragon War. Become friends with Ryu Ryuji. Have you had any other movie experiences like that, Tyler? Go should we go in this door? Yeah, I've been to some shitty movies before. <laughs> oh, lordy. Or sometimes when you're looking for something to do and you decide to go to a movie without realizing that there's nothing even remotely decent to watch. Yeah, yeah I've had that happen. Out, and you go there, it's like, oh, let's watch <laughs> The Brothers Grimm. Brothers Grimm? Yeah, with Matt Damon and Heath Ledger, I think. Isn't I like that bad? That story. <laughs> It's okay, it was not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it's not that... also something that I wanted to watch. With me and my daughter, that was recently, it was Gretel and Hansel. I that. Yeah, I think like Brothers Grimm, it's one of those movies where it's okay, you know, but it's like never a movie you should just choose to watch on purpose. Right, like I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't like want to be like, oh yeah, Brothers Grimm ah, is no. out, we're going this Friday, <laughs> get your yeah. popcorn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, good, good. There you go. He filled you up. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, left. Well, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm playing mm -hmm. with an excellent partner, and I've got Tyler to make fun of. Always right with the world. Yeah. So, what did we watch recently? Uh, I talked about One Cut of the Dead already, right? Was that... Oh, I talked about that during the pre-stream. Yeah. But that is a very good movie, and the Steelbook is only 15 bucks, so give it a blind buy if you like zombie movies, folks. Or if you and just even like. Even if you don't like zombie movies, because I can't stand them and I like them. Well, like, some people are like too grossed out by zombies to where they still wouldn't be able to enjoy it, even mm -hmm. though I know that only affects a certain. you know. When you have 300 health, leave me the heart, please. Oh, so <laughs> oh you're missing four health. Big deal. Still. Nice, Jordan. Are those on Game Pass, or are you just buying them? I didn't realize there were any ACA Neo Geo games Ooh. on sale. Who's this guy? Somebody Toto. Needs. Well, we watched Gremlins 2 recently. Mm -hmm. Isn't that, like, the one where, like, they're in a corporate business office or something? Yes. Yeah, I've heard it's, like, fantastically terrible or something. It's just fantastically weird. Like, yeah. I, I think it's just, like, wonderful. Like, almost every minute of that movie is sheer delight. It's so I've... weird. I've heard it's, it's a good watch. Um, I've s I just recently saw the first Gremlins, and I liked it. It's, you know, it's cute. It's dumb parts, but I heard Gremlins 2 is pretty ridiculous. There's like a sketch. Have you seen that? Yeah, the Key and Peele sketch, right? After yeah, we watched the movie, yeah. I showed it to Brandy. Yeah. yeah. All of those things are in the movie that, that he makes fun of. Yes. And I like, I like the sketch, and his daughter did. So it yeah, but like, she was just being moody, so I don't think... Uh, I don't think she really would have disliked it if she wasn't being I said my, my giant star from that was that you know, Gizmo looks like my niece. Oh yeah, her niece's mouth like, like looks face. a lot like Gizmo's. I like sent a picture to my sister of Gizmo and her daughter. I'm like, she's famous. Man, look at that. Jordan's getting ready to throw down. So, yeah. Excuse me. But, yeah, Tyler, you should give it a shot. See, Joe Dante, the director yeah, of the too. first Gremlins, you know, they wanted him to come back and direct the sequel. And he said only, like, he'd only agree to do it if he had full creative control and could get weird with it. And they let him do it, you know, and he got super weird with it. And one fun thing about that is, see, they get loose in this giant corporate building, like you said, that has a genetics lab. And they use that as an excuse to create all these really weird mutant gremlins, you know? So you got the lightning gremlin, the vegetable gremlin, bat, spider. <laughs> it just yeah. adds this awesome variety. And then there was an NES game where all those gremlins were bosses, and that was pretty neat, too. There's also a Game Boy game that was much different, I believe. 
But as long as you have a sense of humor about it, it's good fun. And yeah. Have you ever seen Star Trek Voyager, Tyler? Don't oh. go that way. Did that dude just walk off the edge? I don't know. Tyler, have you seen Star Trek Voyager? That's what no. Can you hear me? <laughs> now I hear you. You sound like a girl. Uh, yeah, but... I wonder if my headset's not coming out or something. Yeah, it's a shame. It's only a little bit happening, though. Yeah. But the doctor in Star Trek Voyager is played by an actor named Robert Picardo. And the Doctor is the best, or one of the very best characters in Star Trek Voyager. You know, like, even if you don't like the show that much, anybody who watches it enough will like the Doctor. He has great character development and stuff. But anyway, he's... That actor, Robert Picardo, has a big role in Gremlins 2, which was cool to see, because I'd forgotten about that. Which one was he now? He was the... The balding guy, and he ends up with the girl gremlin at the end. Oh, okay. Jordan, are you earning a lot of gamer score this month? Is that what's happening? Darker Player brings up a correct political thing that Lincoln's political party was a lot different during his era than they are now. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really want to. We don't want to get very political here and now, but it is true. In case anyone didn't know, was Lincoln assassinated Ooh, by his own political party? I believe that he was. <laughs> so, Jordan, where's Cloven Casey? It's just you, I mean, you're dogging on Dementia so much. Dementia and Cloven Casey aren't the same person, are they? Oh, okay. I'm glad you two are having fun. Oh, Dementia doesn't have any games to earn achievements with. That's sad. Well, you know, we do have a contest coming up, right? I like, I like your style, Jordan. Just saying. What else did we watch besides those two movies, Brandy? There was one other live-action movie. God, I listed four movies in the newsletter. Does anyone pick up what they were? Howl's Moving Castle was one, but we already talked about that on Tuesday. That was so Ow. By the way, guys, I'm just throwing this out there. I stream on Tuesdays and Wednesdays now, and it'd be great for some of you to try to tune in when I do that. It's just an idea, you know. Another chance for us all to hang out. Maybe the fact that there's no map doesn't matter, Tyler, because it's really all about just, like, going Getting through the levels and beating enough of each color enemy. Haven't we already done all the blues? Yeah, I think so. We've already had the blue mini-boss. Yeah. We can. Good idea. Ah. Okay. We need. Yeah, we need orange, purple, and red. So. There's Good. some purples here. Orange, purple, and red. Sissy, purple, red. Right Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Killing the purple. Nice, Jordan. That'd be great. A lazy, lazy slacker. You're not talking about Tyler, are you? Because he hasn't streamed for a long time. I'm not much of a streamer no more. That makes the kids sad, Tyler. The kids liked you. They want to stream. I'm an awesome streamer. Yeah, you're right. Dementia, there was one cut of the dead, Gremlins 2, Howl's Moving Castle, and there's one other that I was trying to remember. Oh yeah, it was Birds of Prey. Oh yeah, How could you watched forget? it in April. We, yeah. Oh, you watch that crap again? <laughs> yes, but it's not crap. It could be better, but it was perfectly fine and fun, I thought. Yay, we got another UFO part. We spontaneously had guests. So Yeah, which is not good when we're trying no. to quarantine, but How do I shoot? Okay. There. There you go. What do you think of the UFO parts, Tyler? I, Why not? I, I like how the UFO looks. They do a good job with the solar on the UFOs. <laughs> Agreed. But yeah, I like the shooting. I mean, it's a little different. It seems like they die quicker than we need them up, which is nice. Yes. Hopefully those kills count towards our goals. Yeah, hopefully. It's like a little mini game. Yeah, just you some... have a separate health bar. Did we come from there? We, we came from the left, right? So yeah, I think was... so. But we've been here before, but I don't know if that matters. We've been but... yeah, as long as we run into more enemies. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to trigger story parts. This is it's just to get all the different endings. It's a bit repetitive, so I would be concerned about that. But yeah, how do you? I mean, yeah, it's not not enough variety for 20 endings. Does every ending require a full playthrough? 
That's a good question. I'm going to have to read up on that. I wish I had and looked into it before the stream. This is one of those games, like yeah, you said, that you could put something on and kind of... That's true. You can just mean, zone out while you're playing because it's fairly yeah. easy and simple. Just yeah. watch a show or something. Just you do bosses, you'd have to pay attention. I kind of like the story, but you don't have to pay attention to the story. You can just skip it all. Yeah. That's what I do with most games. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I did with The Last of Us and with Final even, Yeah, even games with good story. Mass Effect 1. <laughs> like, eh, skip. They don't, ever shut, they don't ever shut up in Mass Effect 1. They don't ever stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, like, a decision tree of, like, five things you can say. And then they go on, like, one of five branches, and then it's just more talking. <laughs> Did you enjoy the decision tree part, though? No. Oh. Mass Harsh Effect type. 2 has an option to, like, it's, I don't remember if they call it arcade mode or something, but something that cuts down on the dialogue. Oh. That's a cool so, option. I didn't know hey, if look. I ever Ooh, played boss. that, boss? which probably won't, but. It looks like one. Or at least somebody you probably need to use your move on. Isn't there a rumor of a Mass Effect trilogy coming out? Yeah, there's another one, but there's also been like rumors like that. Oh, this is the years. thing that that makes the enemy stronger. Yeah, so we got to beat him up first. Thing. Nice. It's not too hard. I hope that actually happens. I feel like there's a rumor of another trilogy besides the Metroid trilogy. What was it? I don't know. People say the new remake of Saints Row 3 is extra good on Xbox One and PS4. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I mean. And it was it was a fun game. I actually liked the fourth one better. I, a lot of people like the third one, um, but it's, it's fine. I mean, a remake of a game can still only be as good as the original game is, but it is nice that they did a good job of actually making it look good and perform well. Yeah, I mean, taking advantage of modern hardware properly. It's right, good instead of just yeah pasting it onto a disc. Yeah, like Activision definitely did not do that with like Deadpool and Marvel Ultimate Alliance and whatnot. Transformers. They put a lot more work into the Call of Duty. I don't know that you call them remakes or. I, I would call them a remake because they really redid those graphics. Hey, look, it's one of those items. You got one of the special items, Tyler, that I picked at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I remember. That's exciting. I want the other two. Could that be what affects the endings? Is like whether you get all those items or not? Could be. Although that seems like kind of a meaningless thing as to affect endings. There were a lot of different items, though. Yeah, there were. That could be. What? What's wrong? Can I say something? Yeah, what? The marker fights, the boss fights, as long as you get their timing down, they won't touch you. Well, that's good, because you want to be able to... Just, I mean, we had a lot of trouble with that first one when we were just trying to brawl our way through. I'm just saying, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like, predictable. Predictable. Yes. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Tyler, did you hear about Clubhouse Games coming out on the Switch recently? This week, I think? Is that like the 51 games in one or whatever? Yeah, there's a ton of games on that. Connect 4, Checkers, Backgammon, Chinese Checkers, Darts, Bowling. A ton of different games on it. Is it a system or is it a... Oh, it's a game for the Nintendo Switch. Oh. It's a huge collection, and they're all really well polished. That's what people like about it. And you know they support online multiplayer and local, and a lot of them. All, and they all support single player too. Nice. And it's only forty bucks. It seems like a good thing to have for like traveling around and just being able. You can play with old people. You know, old people who won't give a regular video game a chance because they have to learn something or whatever. Just be like, hey, let's play some backgammon and just start playing it with them. That kind of thing. That doesn't appeal to you, T Dog. Not a ton. I mean, again, you need more people to play with. What about your mom, Tyler? Couldn't you get her to play board games with you? Probably, but... Yeah. You're like, ugh, why would I want to spend time with my mom? Yeah. <laughs> I think your mom's very nice, Tyler. Thanks. <laughs> Have you met his mom? Uh, we shouldn't talk about it on stream. <laughs> Okay. That would be fun, wouldn't it, Bob Jones? Unfortunately, my mom, you know, she is overall nice, but she doesn't like to hang out with me very much, and so I get really, like, frustrated yeah, about it. I mean, it. It's, it's not hard to blame her for that. <laughs> Dang it, Tyler. Aww. 
That's cold. You and Paul's mom will hang out with him. Oh. Hey, I got people who will. It's just not her. Sure. Get this work. guy. This way. Right. Yeah. Build that meter. Yeah, now my my parents, neither one of them are especially friendly, I guess I would say. But my dad, even less so. He's an utterly hands-off. He's what? The language barrier. Yeah, the fact that he doesn't speak English does make things harder. I've talked about that before, haven't I? And no, none of their last names are guacamole for whoever said that. <laughs> That's how you get punched. But I like guacamole! Yeah, nice mix of colored enemies. So when you do hang out with your mom, T Dog, what do you guys do? Chat. Food. You watch TV or anything? I watch Netflix sometimes. Yeah, that's not bad. Jono, if they fix it up at all, I think it would be a really good idea, especially to get rid of the loading times, like if they would get rid of the stupid elevator conversations that Tyler was talking about. Because that's the frustrating thing about the first Mass Effect for me, Tyler, if I was to go back and play it, is that those elevator times are baked into the game. Like, even if you're playing on Xbox One X, where it could load it all ten times faster, it's still going to take the whole time. They just weren't very forward thinking in the way they designed that. Ooh, that was a cool one. I agree, Jono. Anything above ten dollars for Burnout Burnout Paradise at this point in time is too much, because that game is like a hundred years old. Wanna go up or left? Uh, Agreed. Uh, hey, a new boss! No, it's just marker. a marker. Why does he say that? It's like the knights who think, say me. I think they're kind of like, uh, zombies. Yeah, they do seem to be pretty zombie-like. Watch. Did you actually play any games, Tyler? One, two, three. One, two, Tyler, three. Tyler, your headset. Not this, not this week. If you don't tap jump, you do this cool pursue attack. Double what? Double tap the jump button. See? Look at that. Mine doesn't do anything. Really? Yeah. You have to really double tap it. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. I don't know. Oh crap, I hit the wrong button. Anyway. I'm not gonna get hit anyway. It doesn't matter. So, Darker Player asks if we have next week's game lined up. The answer is no, we don't. I did send out a bunch of emails for the stream, but we didn't get a whole lot of responses, so we're gonna have to keep at that. And again, I just can't remind you guys enough. Please watch our YouTube videos and like them, and that helps a bit with getting more codes. Yeah. Hey, look, we got the H magazine. Heck yeah, oh, yes. Tyler's favorite kind of nice. magazine. Got the Playboy. <laughs> yes. Beat these guys up. Hello, Shitsu. Sorry, I hadn't said hi to you yet. Yeah, the. That double tapping jump move is really finicky. I don't know what makes it come out sometimes and not other times. It just makes me jump higher. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work for her at all. And mine does. See, like, look, it just did it. Hey, look, Who knows? This makes mine jump harder. Those bombs are annoying. Which one? Middle or left? Oh. Or even further yeah. left? Yeah, further left. I hear a UFO sound out here, but you can't see anything. And we're not jumping in the hole, remember? The hole's your home? Are you too good for your home? No comment. So you haven't played anything new, Tyler? No, I don't think so. I think the last game I played was still that one. Moonlighter? Is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah. I played Forager I... after that. Oh, that's right. We're talk about Forager, too. Yeah. You know, yeah, Tyler, I'm... Else. I'm probably going to stream Moonlighter on Tuesday. Oh, cool. I'll try to swing by. Yeah, well, it would be great help if you could give me some advice and stuff. Cool. Some people are saying it's not especially stream-friendly, so again, probably advice would help with speed. Yeah, up probably not at the beginning, especially because you have to learn everything. But hey, we're going to we're gonna give it a shot. 
The idea is that eventually we need to do a stream of the DLC. But the bad thing is the DLC comes after that the main game. A lot. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. You actually have to beat the game? Yeah, I don't beat a whole lot of games nowadays, Tyler. Especially since I got into PSO2 with Brandy. We're both in need of help. Can we go? Those oh, well, bad. here. There you go. Can we go on this? No luck? Can we jump on it? No. Oh yeah, Aki was talking about how good the Command & Conquer Remastered game is. How much is that game? What's this? That's ah. UFO. Have there been reviews and stuff? I honestly haven't heard much about it at all. <laughs> Other than that link Aki shared. You did it, then I did it. Here, left her in. That's too well, Platinum. Why don't you play with your friends more? Like you never asked to play with me or anything. It'd we miss cool you. To play with you. Yeah, we do miss you. Was that what you did yesterday? Yesterday, what? We saw him online. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's always in a mission, so I'm, I'm afraid to pester him because he's already busy. And always mispronounce the name. Oh yeah. She does love to mispronounce Japanese names. I don't know Japanese! Brandy, like, his character name is Killer A Ayane. She calls him Killer Ain or something. Yeah. I think one because time she... in Texas, that spells Ain. She called him Killer Anus one time, too. No, I didn't. That's like Killer Anus. <laughs> Especially if he gets mad about it, then he gets Killer Anus. Yes! <laughs> there you go. I don't know Japanese. Well, most people, I mean, well, a lot of people would use it. Should put yourself out there in the Japanese culture. That's yeah, good. I I don't mind learning. It's just <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure the Japanese people would enjoy that. But no, uh, you should be more culturally sensitive. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Just go see black movies like Paul was talking about, because that's definitely <laughs> more culturally sensitive. Exactly. Go see them whether you think they'll be good or not. Whether they're torturous to watch. <sighs> Did Icky do the last round of the contest yet, Tyler? Yeah, he's doing it right now. Oh, okay. Contest close winner will be announced shortly. Wait, I want to see. Let me. Okay, we don't need greens. Purple, red, and orange. That's right. All right. Let's just run through here. Quick, quick, go. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Why won't you come up here? I'm getting hit. There we go. Alright. <laughs> that's good. Platinum Matrix is completely cool about it. Alright, just run. Oh, well, it's yeah, Platinum Matrix and Killer Anus. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. he, that man is known as the Killer Anus. I never, ever, ever said that. Hey, congratulations, Wolfblade! Get this guy. Let me kill us first. That line thing. Alright. It's weird, only one of us can hit this guy, so that's a bit annoying. But if you're playing single player, I believe you can use Right Bumper to change between the two characters, so that wouldn't be a problem. Gotcha. I almost hit the wall again. Wow, you've only- oh! Platinum, I'm actually beating you. I only have two achievements left for Fantasy Star. Just run to the right. I have, uh... We didn't get the, the bump plug item from that enemy, and that was the one that usually dropped the items. No, that particular enemy just fills up your meter. Uh, which is handy. Ow, stop yeah. hitting us! Not Trying to run past the enemies one. is a Why bit are annoying. Why you here? <laughs> there, watch, she'll get him again. Now the ones who drop the items are like glowing zombie people. <laughs> Wolf played one and he's just like, huh? What? That's awesome. There's a contest? <laughs> <laughs> How do you even enter it? We do need blues, right? So, wait, no, we don't. We need purple. Need purple okay. God, it would be cool to show off another boss, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and increase my power, because... I think the fights go quicker. Ah, what was that? Great! So, was that both contest winners? Yeah, isn't there a second winner? Switch, I think. I can swear there's a second winner. Let's see, let's Love go. Casey says me. Right. Dementia. Me. Hey, Dementia, way to go! Great, scratch, scratch, scratch. Shout to get out from under the desk. Ran to the. 
That's true. So in case he's been looking after our friend Jordan. Sorry, Harry. Who <laughs> let you up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really God, like this guy. It. He's a character. That's hilarious. Yay! We're glad you have a game to play. That's what you, you deserve it, dude. Samsara is fun, and the achievements are pretty easy if you use a guide. Ow. So, Tyler, we need to get you a new game soon. Yeah, I definitely don't have any games. Don't you even play, like, the free PlayStation Plus games? Or do you just ignore them? Or you already have them? I add them to my... I mean, I have a lot of them, but I just add them to my account. I don't know, they're like 30 gigs. I'm like, I Yay! You got to a boss. Okay, guys, we're going to fight the boss and then end the stream. That's how we'll do things. I'm your opponent, Yabutsu, the ultimate elite leader, number 47. I have numbers. Hmm. Should have been 42, which is the answer to the meaning of life. Ah, what the heck? He's on TV or something. So he's summoning regular enemies. Rude. Ow! Do your special. Ow! This is an. I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Just fight them all off. Help! Help! Yes. What happened to our meter? Oh, right, I increased my strength and then we actually got stuck against this. Alright. Thanks for nothing, Casey. Just kidding. And what's coming up next week besides work, T Dog? Uh, work for next week. Um, next week is... I don't, I don't think I have too much planned on the, on the docket for next week. Have you heard anything about big video game announcements? No, it wasn't this week. It's supposed to be E3 or is next week it's supposed to be E3? I think it... that's a good question. I know there were supposed to have been some announcements this week. And there weren't, yeah, there were. I don't know the actual E3. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still excited to hear about PlayStation whenever we get to hear about it. Stotch left that Rickroll comment, or that Rickroll uh, tweet that was supposed to have a PS5 leak. Yeah, but it wasn't Rickroll, it was like a Black Lives Matter post. It's the same thing, because it well, it's, tricks it's you. It's the Rickroll of Black Lives Matter information. Yeah, and like, what do you think about that? Because like, obviously more people need to read up on Black Lives Matter and know what's happening in the world and not just ignore it, that's dangerous. But... Is that the right way to teach people about that kind of stuff? By tricking them? Um, I mean, it wasn't like the super famous guy who tweeted it. wasn't like, just some guy. I think it had a lot of retweets and whatnot. Oh no, he wants us to blow up that thing and it's gone. No, please don't make us fight more. No, you got those were the up our meter. Oh. So we could use things that we needed. Okay, gotcha. I think we'll just use it for healing. Kobayashi Maru? Chicago asks, hey Chicago, how are you? I get, sometimes I get Shitsu and Chicago mixed up because they both start with the same sound. Kobayashi Maru is from Star Trek. Oh yeah, you're right. Do you remember when the 2009 movie showed the Kobayashi Maru test, but they changed it to where Kirk cheated instead of outsmarting it? Uh, uh yes, but I don't remember the original. Oh. Like, what episode is the original one in there? Is it on the movie? I think it. I think it was depicted in one of the movies. One of the cast, you know, the original cast movies. But I can't remember which one. You should. Well, I watched Mean Girls this week. I've seen Mean Girls before. What'd you watch it on? Uh, Blue. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is quite an amusing movie. Yeah, I like Blue Girls a lot. Full of 30-year-old women playing high schoolers. Yeah, they are all a little bit older. The wife. Oh, crap. It's especially old. And I've got somebody who health. Is there... Okay. I got zero health. Crap. It won't let me use the meter for some reason. I'm sorry, we'll get you back. Ah! No, they're gonna kill me, too. Yep. Oh, they killed me, too. Is Perhaps it the we'll even-numbered just... Star Trek movies that are good, or the odd-numbered? It's the even-numbered even one, number, right? Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. the first one's not good. I tried to watch part of the first one, and there was like a 32-minute scene of them on the ship of like, you just went around and panned around the ship <laughs> for 32 minutes. You know, that's my favorite part of the movie, but yeah, if I was going to make a movie, would I put that in the movie? No. 
but it's the ship is so beautiful it's like just beautiful photography of the ship and the music the score that it plays there is super good but I just love the Enterprise. Like, I could stare at the Enterprise for 30 minutes, you know, and not everybody's like that. So I do understand. You don't love it enough to have it in your username. <laughs> You're right. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. Why? Oh, oh, the Tyler H1701. It's the mysterious origin of Tyler's username. That's right. But, you know, I've seen a lot I more Star Trek. My, uh, I haven't even seen that much Star Trek. I was watching Star Trek at the time that my old Yahoo account was getting, not hacked, but like, you know how like they would send spam links from emails and stuff? That yeah. They, I mean, it still happens, but I, so I was like in the process of building a whole new account. I needed a number that wasn't my birthday to go along with Tyler H. Well, I can't believe I never put that together, Tyler. I feel sorry. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a good name. You're right, Bob. It is very random. Okay, well it's been fun playing Stay Cool Kobayashi san, a River City Ransom side story from Arc System Works. It's available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Switch, and Steam. On Xbox is $13. On every other system it's $14 for some reason. It is a lot of fun, it's a bit repetitive, but as long as you have stuff to do, or especially maybe if you had a guide to tell you how to play, it probably would be even more enjoyable. Tyler, thanks for helping out tonight. I'm happy to be here. Brandy, thanks for being rad. Always. Yes. Icky, thank you for running the contest. And all of you guys, thanks for being such a great, lively audience today. We really enjoyed reading your chat and interacting with you. I love you all, and remember, don't hate, appreciate. See you guys. Bye, guys. those little SOBs. Lordy. Okay, where's the thing to do the raid? Here comes the ending. Don't we have to actually run the ending first? Yes. Yeah, just stick around a little bit, everybody. We'll do it in a second. The ending's really loud, so like, when you try to talk to people, the ending gets hard. So you're saying I should make the ending I mean, if you want to talk, the ending works. And we always do. So I know you do. So I you talk to so sometimes, I don't, I didn't know until a couple of weeks ago when I was just watching that the ending cloud. I appreciate you bringing up my attention. It's underscore something, right?